Hi friends! Okay, so um, I'm borrowing my dad's camera, so let me know how the quality is. If it's like a million times better, I'm sure it will be. Um, I know I look a little disheveled, I'm sick, and uh, I'm literally in my pajamas right now, but I thought that I would just record this video anyways, um, because you guys seem to want to see a lot more nail art, so I'm trying, I'm going to try to make some like easier ones, ones that are a little bit more simple to follow. This is my video game sort of first edition, I guess. Um, this is my Legend of Zelda nail tutorial. So these are them. Um, so we have, you know, the heart life monitor, these ones with half a heart gone. We have the Triforce and we also have a whole bunch of rupees because rupees are fun and I wanted more color in this manicure but yeah so they're like the pixelated hearts they're, they look a lot harder to do than they actually are um, because those are just dots like you just have to do the lines and then there's dots but you'll see um, you'll see because I'll show you so let's go so I'm gonna show you how to get these Zelda inspired nails those rupees on the thumb and then the heart containers I've started with this is witchcraft nail hardener I've got two coats on all of my nails um, and then this is the brand of acrylic paint that I use hold on let's zoom out um, it's the Amsterdam it's basically like a student acrylic um, you can use whatever acrylic paint you want or you could just use your favorite um, nail col nail polish colors this is just a really light blue a black and then a white on the thumb the paintbrush that I use the most for my nails it's a striper I'm gonna add some water to my white paint here so it's thinner and I'm going to actually press the brush into the paint so that it's very thin, flat on one side, thin on one side. And that's basically how I always load my brush. Um, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to make the little heart shapes. So I'm just gonna, it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, there's a hair. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just wanna get the general shape of a heart. So like that. Notice how I'm resting everything down on the desk also. I'm not um, hovering in the air trying to paint. It's really important to have everything steady. Um, and my hands are not. And we're gonna draw a triangle. So one, two, and then straight across the bottom. And you can actually see how shaky my hands are and I still get straight lines because I have everything touching down. So you have a little triangle like that. All you want to do is fill in the corners. So like this, like this, like this. And just make that center piece a triangle as well. And then fill them in and then fill them in. I'm just gonna go again pretty roughly I'm going to take a, just a wet brush, it just has water on it, um, and I'm going to erase half of that red because I totally forgot. 
about it. So every time I like I'm wiping it out to get all the water out of it and then once it has no water in it it will actually pick up the paint off of your nail and you just want to make sure that it's um, that is clean and again I'm gonna go in and I totally forgot about this part um, but I'm going to sort of step it along the inside edge there so it's like pixelated looking so I have like a nice bright yellow color here and I'm just gonna fill in this guy okay so I'm gonna paint some rupee shapes so they have straight sides and then points on the ends This really gorgeous um, spa rituals, it's called Aram, I believe. Or, uh, alchemy, excuse me, alchemy. Um, so it's this really gorgeous gold shimmer. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit and just put a dot on my palette here. That's all like this. And I'm just gonna layer that over top of the yellow. And then you want this to dry. So I would suggest using a really tiny paintbrush or something. So this is the paintbrush I'm using. And what you want to do first is down each side of the heart, draw a straight line. So see? And then across the top of the heart, notice how I'm turning my nail. Um, I'm going to go straight line across and a straight line across. So that's going to be sort of the border of your heart. And then you want to put a dot on two three dots there one on each of the corners and then this dot straight down and a little diagonal so it's kind of like a little pixelated heart it's not perfect but you know it's what can you really expect so I'll show you again It's not perfect, but you know, it is what it is. Um, now you can take your black again. Just clean up if you've got any glitter across this, or if your lines aren't straight. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now for the rupees, what I'm gonna do is, here, I'll show you this part. I'm gonna take some black here, and I'm gonna take a little bit of this green that I have over here. And I'm going to mix them together so that I get a darker green. And I'm going to add a tiny bit of water into it. And this is what I'm going to do for every color. Okay, so I'm going to draw like a little V. And straight lines. And then just little lines where um, the edges of the gems would be. And again, here, just a little V, straight lines, and little lines there. Right. 
now you're ready to uh, put a top coat. So I'll show you. So this one is hard. Oh, and I have a bit of a blue spot. Okay, so this is my gel top coat by Red Carpet Manicure. It's called Brilliance. Um, and then I have, this is my light here. So you turn it on. It's a 45 second light. And what you want to do is, again, these four fingers first. You could also always just finish this up with a top coat of your choice. It looks really cute matte also. So these are cured now, um, and you can only do one coat if you choose, but I always like to do two, and before you wipe it with uh, the cleanser, you do want to do a second coat. Okay, so after your second time in the light, you want to take a cleanser. This is the Red Carpet Purify Cleanser. Um, or you can just take um, an acetone free nail polish, put a little bit on a cotton pad, and then wipe your nails down. This is a good time to get anything that you went over the edge with. So if there's any, like, you know, extra paint anywhere around the edges or nail polish. This is the time to add your um, cuticle oil. So I'm just gonna, this is just a chi one. I'm just gonna run really quick. This is my Zelda Hearts nail tutorial. There's my little triforces. You could also paint this matte on top if you just wanted to use a matte top coat. I thought it was pretty cute and pretty fun. Okay, so that's the tutorial. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy it. I hope that you try it. Please don't be intimidated by it. It just takes practice. Um, and most of it is actually sort of like dotting um, or just like really small strokes. So um, just please give it a try. Um, I really, really do recommend to though trying to use acrylic paints instead of nail polishes for stuff like this. Like your base coat is fine to be nail polish, but the really detailed stuff um, or like the more more detailed stuff, I really do suggest acrylic paint. It doesn't um, spread. It's a lot more easy to control. Even if you just go to like Walmart and grab a little trial tester tube of different colors of paint or whatever um, and the beauty of it too is that you can literally mix whatever color you could ever think of out of you know a few colors instead of having to go buy a million other colors you know and you can always add a shimmer or sheen to the top of it um, but anyhow that's neither here nor there and that's a video for another day oh, and I love you guys thanks so much for watching and uh, yeah I hope you have a great day okay bye guys